Hello there, so in this video I just want to show you how to bake uh, lighting into a texture uh, and doing it all within Maya. So I'm using here Maya 2016 um, and I just created a basic primitive cube. So go ahead and create that and then just name it low. Um, then press Ctrl D and duplicate this guy, move this guy to the side. Let's name this one high. Doesn't matter what your name is, this is just so that I know which one's which. Go to edge mode, uh, select all the edges, hold down shift and go and do a bevel. Or just go to the edit mesh bevel. Uh, set this to 0 0.03, well in my case this is 0 0.03. Um, depending on the size of your cube, yours may be uh, different. So mine I'm going to set it to 0 0.03, just make sure it's really uh, tight. And let's set this to like 5. Alright. So that's done. I'm going to soften the edges. So I'm just going to select everything. Hold down shift. Soften. Soften edge. Alright. And now I'm just going to apply a new material to this guy. So hold down right click. Go to assign new material. I'll make a fong. Uh, scroll to the material. Uh, we don't need to name it. I'll change the color to the blue. Doesn't matter what it is. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, oh, let's see. I'll increase the spec highlight here to something like three. Probably should be a good number. There we go. So we have kind of highlights on the edges. Um, all right, so now that we have these guys, let's go ahead and create, because uh, we're gonna be baking lighting, uh, so we need a light here. So go to create, lights, directional light. Let me just press W. I'm gonna scale mine, because mine's really tiny, so I can't really see it. Uh, and then I'm gonna click right here. To enable the uh, lighting so we can actually see what this light is doing so i'm going to rotate it just so that i got better lighting here and i'm even going to give it some color so let's get a color let's make it like a yellow that's too much yeah just a little bit um so right now everything is really dark so i'm just going to duplicate this same light move it back well you don't have to move it back actually because this is a directional light so it doesn't matter where it is Press E, I'm just gonna rotate it. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's looking pretty bright at the top. Uh, I'll reduce the intensity for this guy. There we go, that's fine. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this guy again. This time I'm going to rotate it. Like this. Uh, I'm going to reduce the uh, intensity of this guy to pretty low, pretty low number. And then finally do the same, duplicate it, control D to duplicate it. Just rotate it 90 degrees pretty much. So the other side is lit. Move this guy so we can see this better. So it's not completely black. Um, I'll leave the bottom as it is for now, so that's gonna be a dark area. All right, cool. So select the object, set it back to the uh, origin. So make sure these two guys are overlapping each other. All right. So now let's switch from modeling. I'm going to switch to rendering, and go to lighting and shading transfer maps. So from here, I'm gonna clear these guys. All right, select one of these guys. So in this case, I have my low selected. So that goes into the target mesh. Now I'm going to select my high. That goes into the source meshes. So what you want here, uh, you know, I'll make a normal too, because why not? Actually, no, never mind. Let's remove the normal. Let me remove these guys. So we want to add, let's add a diffuse and the shaded, which is actually what's going to make the lighting. So we may not even need the diffuse. Uh, click on the folder and select the place where you want to save it. 
set it to a Targa file. Uh, let's see. We want to connect to a new shader. Maya common. I'm gonna set my size for the texture to a 1024, but you know, depending on what you're doing, it doesn't really matter for my case. Uh, just set the sampling to medium, roll space, 3 filter, go to advanced options, and set this to closest to envelope and matching using geometry normals. Uh, set this to like 2 or so. And up here, go to mesh display and display the envelope, which in my case looks pretty good. Just make sure the envelope covers the, both the uh, geo pieces. So if I set mine to zero, let's see, oops. So you can see kind of there's blue. I don't know if this is too much. I think it actually covers it. I'll set it to 0.1. Alright, and then just hit bake and wait a few minutes for it to bake. So once it's done, just minimize this window just in case we need to go back to it. Uh, let's move this guy to the side. Uh, press 6 so that you can see textures. And there we have it. Um, you can kind of see that there's some lighting on this guy. It's kind of a weird um, line here, which is, I think has to do with the material that this guy has. Maybe just just the lighting, so we can adjust the uh, lighting to you know, make that better. I forgot to do something here, and this is probably what's happening, and also why we can have this line here. It's uh, we forgot something that's pretty crucial, and that's to create the UVs for the uh, cube. So open up the uh, UV editor. Just click here to open it. Uh, and in my case, I actually did create it. It seems like so. I just did a an automatic UV, so I just go here to get an automatic one. And in my case, it was already kind of done, so I'm just gonna revert that. Um, so yeah, don't forget to actually create the UVs, which I did. Um, sorry, I forgot to show that part. Anyway. Uh, so as you can see, if we look at this guy here, um, we see that this weird line lines going here, and that's basically the normals for our mesh. Uh, since I didn't make a normal map, um, it's still showing the hard edge. So as you see here, hard edge still there. So that's kind of what, what it's showing. Uh, but if, you do, if we just want to see the actual texture, uh, just go to lighting, use flat lighting. And here you can actually see that we don't get those lines anymore and we kind of see just the lighting and the color shade uh, on this guy. So that's pretty much how you do, how you bake uh, lighting on your model. So let's go ahead and open this. So you're going to see that if you go to your material, it's going to apply a diffuse and an ambient color. Um, so if you view it. So this one looks pretty dark to me. Um, and then the diffuse is just a flat color. Oops, click on it. So this is just the, the blue material that we applied to this guy. So if we open those textures in Photoshop. So this is my shaded one and this is my um, diffuse. So if I go back here and then I break the ambient, now we just have the uh, color, which is not what we want. I mean, we pretty much just want one texture. We don't want to use, be using two. So this is pretty useful for like mobile games where you're uh, just kind of have the lighting already kind of painted on the uh, texture. So what we can do is just kind of drag this guy over the diffuse and just kind of set it to Pretty much, I just set it to whatever looks cool and whatever works in my case. Um, but I'm gonna set it to like a light or a screen. Seems to work pretty well. So if we set it to this guy, I don't like these lines. I think those have to do with the shader that I chose. So merge that and just kind of save it over the diffuse. So if we go back to Maya, I'll go to color and then just reload it. 
And you can see it's it's not exactly what we had before, but again, you can change the blending modes here in Photoshop. I mean, it's, there's no right or wrong about this. Uh, it's just what what you're going for. It depends on what you're going for, right? Um, because this is what it used to be. Well, let's see with the lighting actually. Oops. So this is what it was with the lighting, this guy. Um, now if we press six, I mean, this, this guy's pretty close, it's not bad, right? It's not, it's not too bad if we actually had to lit this guy. But if we just want a flat texture, I mean, it's pretty cool to get the uh, lighting on your model. And so you can use this to, I usually use this for like a start, start point, like starting point for if you're going for like painted textures, but you don't want to be painting the lighting by hand, uh, you can just kind of use this technique to just kind of bake the lighting within Maya. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to show you um, about baking lighting within Maya. Uh, pretty cool stuff here. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, like it, uh, share it and subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorials. Also, if you have suggestions, please leave a comment in the video and I'll see if I can get to it. Also, please check out the uh, recently released ebook uh, for newcomers to Maya, uh, which is an introduction to Maya. Uh, uh, it's a simple guide to learning 3D modeling. Uh, it's specific to anyone who wants to learn how to model in 3D. You can buy it on Amazon or on my website. Use promo code 3DEX. 3DX2 tutorials to get a 15% discount.